going on guys? Dan here, DD Speed Shop. Look at this, 57 Chevy wagon. Nope, that's a convertible. Kind of good. Forget what I'm always working on here. Anyways, today I want to finish off the uh, convertible-ism, or whatever we're calling this. Um, so I marked a little bit of tape as to what I think the cut line is going to be. When I originally cut the roof off, it was, uh, well, it wasn't a precision cut by any means. So I just kind of followed the, the crown in the roof and I put some, I think, three quarter inch tape, put two of those on there. Now here's my reasoning behind the, uh, the measurements. Try Googling it. There's nothing on the internet that tells you how to do this. So I took a picture of a guy's Tri-5 Chevy. Hopefully it shows up on camera. But if you can see where the trim, the top trim, I guess, that you'd have for convertible where it ended, it pointed right just past the corner of this trim. So that's kind of where I had the tape going. So if I carry that on, it'll do something like that and kind of right in the divot there. And uh, that's what we're going to do. So to start, I'm going to cut at the tape line, the top bit, which is a bunch of kind of structure and, and whatever, a little rotten in there. But I'm going to get that all taken care of first. I don't know what I'm going to do at the bottom. I might cut some of that out and I was thinking I'll just kind of build a little, well, the plate to it or, or do something to kind of finish it off nice, paint that or whatever I'm going to do. Um, I believe that the factory convertible trim, it looks like it just kind of wraps around. We don't have that. Get that going, get a nice cut on that. Then we'll zip the drip rails off and essentially we're going to build a piece that's just going to kind of follow there, follow there. We'll build a bottom piece to go in, well, like box it all in. So it'll look kind of like it has the same roof shape. A little bit of filler. That'll be that. But I gotta decide if I want to try and put a piece of trim on it. Or I think I might just try and go buy some either kind of mirror wrap or some paint. Or we'll see what we're gonna do for now, anyways. Might not be permanent. Maybe that piece of uh, convertible trim will find some or, or just end up paint up for it, making it fit. It really matters. I think. Convertible window trim is unique too on that car. That was a 56. So maybe it's around 57 or 56. It looked like the top piece and, and this was all one. And like you, you, it covered all of this. On a convertible you can see it goes way far back. So it just, the trim went right into the, the door here. Which, I mean this, these are factory I believe from this car. I didn't change that or, and that was on the door. So you would see this on a four-door hardtop, at least on that four-door hardtop. So maybe some different window trim would make a little bit of a difference. I don't know. Maybe, maybe there's some options. So that's what we're gonna do. I just this this gap right there, right here. It's terrible. So we'll uh, we'll get this kind of start getting trimmed and uh, start giving her. Hopefully, it should be a good day. Get a lot done. Well, um, I don't think there's a right or a wrong way to do this. Well, actually, I think the wrong way started a month ago when we chopped the roof off. I think the wrong way was when we bought it. Yeah, when we bought this <laughs> sweet hot rod. Yeah, I keep buying junky stuff. It never ends. So I'm going to start uh, slicing the dice. I'm just going to use the zip cut because it's my favorite tool. And, uh, yeah, see how it goes. That just looks a lot better just having a straight cut. <laughs> wow. Grinding a little paint off. Well, that looks a thousand times better just having a, a clear, clean cut. It's a little wavy, but it's pretty close. 
And uh, if I just fill this gap in alone, I think it's going to look good. So, what am I going to do there? I'll run out and see if I can find some real thin aluminum. If I can tuck it under the trim and just kind of fold it back. I don't know if that would give it a weird shape or not. Yeah, I'll have to think this one out. Or, I mean, body work it and put some sort of chrome paint on it. Maybe I'll go out and run and get some of that real quick at both and see what it'll look like. Because this is easy. I mean, cut, weld, make square, do whatever. And the inside, uh, I gotta cut, you know, same thing. I'll just cut the structure out to wherever I want and I'll just plate it in. I think I might leave it a little longer on the bottom actually and have it at a bit of an angle. Like that would look okay. A square might like just a bit goofy, but. And that leaves me my structure for my rear view mirrors and the stuff for uh, visors, sun visors. They're just right in the corner there. So I can do all that, paint in there, box it all in. You know, all uh, weld through primer, all that sort of stuff that I do all the time, right? So uh, we're going to Home Depot. I'm not. Yeah, you are. I think we'll try this. I got some chrome paint. Light kind of shines off of it. Um, I'm sure you know. This is just on a piece of exhaust pipe too, but I don't know. Looks kind of chrome-ish, eh? <laughs> Danny's face doesn't show it's that good, but it has a little reflection, and that's no. Uh, you know what? It's the chrome we can afford. There you go. Chrome in a can. Um, so I got a piece of sheet metal out. We're gonna start on this side. Because this side has the trim, so we get some kind of measurements. And we'll just match it on the other side. Then i got to decide how much of this I want to take out. I have more meat on this side than that side. So odds are I'll just match this side to that side. And then we'll kind of box it in. Maybe run the grinder on this, make it a little bit more smooth. If I can, I don't know, a little bit of a tape line on there and just grind up to it so it's nice and round. I might just kind of box it in first. We'll see what happens. But... So we gotta get fill in because this is driving me crazy. I don't like it. it looks ugly. All right, so we're just kind of winging it. I cut a little piece of steel out. I just uh, kind of bent it on the the roof to give it a bit of a curve, so it'll kind of match. And we decided to do there, I guess. I don't know. We're just kind of winging it. So. Uh, I should mark this and trim it down. So there's actually a little indent here where all these pieces kind of join together that had, I guess, lead or something on it. So if I eliminate those, uh, they'll kind of fit in. are in the way. Hmm. 
<laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't think it looks fantastic. It just looks so goofy going from round roof to this kind of stuff, but I mean, that's, that's factory. So, <laughs> I don't know. I guess it'll be what's going to be. Kind of fill in a little bit with some filler, make it look a little nicer. I just rounded the edge and I put a little bit of weld in there to give it a bit of a curve. We'll do the same on the other side. Then I'll just, you know, I'll, I'll actually, I'll box this piece in. I gotta do a little trimming and I'll just do that so it'll match and then we can start screwing around the inside. We'll have to get the other side done, but this, uh, it doesn't look bad from this angle, I guess. It's right on the side, it just looks weird. There's that gap to it, but. Well, that's how it's supposed to be, obviously. So I've built my little box piece. We'll start it off anyways. So it's clearly way too big. But uh, it'll fit in there nice. Give it a little tack. So I'm going to weld it in. Then I'll just cut it to fit. At least that's my plan. My plans always work out. Look at that, you can hardly tell where 57 Chevy ended and DD Speed Shop started. But uh, I put just a little bit of that paint on with like no body work or anything. <laughs> oh, they can tell. They can tell. Well, the closer you get, you can tell. I don't know, it's whatever, it's what it's gonna be. I trimmed out a little bit of what I wanted out of here. Now it's still got a wave to it. I think what I'm gonna do once I get the other side done, we're gonna move over there right away and, and do this patch. We're gonna take that big random orbital and just kind of go top to bottom and, and, go, and go around so it'll flatten it out and hopefully try and keep it pretty close. I mean, overall the curve isn't bad. There's just a few kind of waves in it from the grinder. So we can just kind of flatten that out. It won't be perfect, but it'll be good enough. Danielle's really working hard there. I'm watching a wedding. At least she's in uniform. So same deal on this side. Um, that side, there's actually like a little, uh, obviously there was trim there. So, I'm going to use that hole, whatever. One of these two will, you know, match that, weld it in. This one, on the other side, this is all rotted out, this little piece. So we'll probably just use that. I'll grind her down, lap right over it, weld it in, do the thing. This one, without this piece, is a little bit of guesswork. But, uh, well, it kind of suits the whole car, a lot of guesswork. We'll do that, get her sanded, and then we'll just kind of a little bit of body filler on the edges. We'll get in here with the... You know, some sanding paper, best I can. We'll mask it and fog it. We should be able to knock that out today. Oh, actually, this will be a lot of work welding in here. Whew, that'll be a lot of work. But, uh, yeah, we'll get it done.
All right, I took a brief intermission to charge cameras. I got some gloves, because I keep burning through gloves. Do you guys have a recommendation for gloves? I bought these ones for the first time. Manhandlers, they're called. Anyways, so here's our uh, convertible roof piece. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna slide her in there, center it up a little bit. There's still room on either side. Uh, I'll build a different structure for that, but I'm gonna put it on, tack it, then I'll zip cut off the excess material, grind her down, weld it in. On the corners, I wanna make sure, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do there. I wanna make sure it's kinda tied into the structure a little bit better, maybe some plug welds or something. Not that it really matters, but up to about here, everything is double wall. And that's where the sun visors are going to be. And, I don't know, I think maybe they just need a little bit extra strength. Not that they're heavy, but they're, you know, quite long and then they'll have the leverage and stuff like that. So, that's my plan anyways. I guess we'll see exactly how it goes, but tack it in, grind it down, get it ready. And then uh, schmuck it full of filler, give it a little bit of primer, and ooh, we'll be done. So we made some progress. I think it looks all right. It's got a little bit of a wave to it, but we'll fix that with filler. Um, I haven't done the bottom yet. Obviously it's hanging long, so I'll just kind of get in there. And that'll just be tack all across. We're not even gonna finish I don't think you're not gonna see it. Uh, yeah, well, I guess we'll see what happens. I built this piece. Literally I just took uh, a flat piece of steel and I held it up to where I thought it should be. Traced it with the marker front and back. And then uh, this is what we ended up with. So again, it's a little, little bit of overhang, no big deal. We'll get her welded on there, and then we'll grind her all smooth. So, I don't know. And here's a little funny. It's kind of got a funny shape. So, eh. I don't know if I'm gonna paint that with the chrome, or if I should maybe just do that black. I'm not too sure how it's gonna turn out. But I'll get both sides done, because uh, that's pretty easy. And then in here, I'll just push that down blindly weld it uh, on the bottom side and then we'll just cut it all out grinder somewhat smoother so it has a bit of a arc to it it's kind of ugly under here so it might actually even look better if i leave just a little bit of this uh rolled lip like if i put a tape line on it and cut it to match so it has like a nice half moon to it versus the trying to contour the actual roof because again it's inner structure it's supposed to be meant you know covered by molding so it's you know like this junk you don't really want the door panel looks ugly so we might just do that, make a nice, a real, real chip foos addition here, and yeah, keep on giving her. Well, I've uh, jumped ahead a little bit. I got the filler piece in. It's not quite what I had envisioned in my head. It just looks a little thick. Um, on a proper convertible, that's how thick they are. They have kind of like an egg shape to them. You know, this hard line, but whatever. It's gonna be what it's gonna be for now. I haven't thought anything else up in my head. A few people had uh, ideas about exhaust pipe and stuff in there. 
which I love the idea. The problem is it curves this way, which would be a bit of a trick, as well as it curves this way. So it's got this and this. Um, this side I like a little better. I might go back and touch that side up, have more of a curve to it. Um, you know what, we're gonna leave it for now. I got down, sanded up, right up against the trim. I'm not gonna take, take, I'm not gonna take the trim out. I'm gonna load this up with some filler on the top. But you know, stand back. I don't know. It looks kind of like chrome, I guess. And uh, I'll end up primering it right up to there. A little bit of primer, which again, the convertibles I think had trim in there. But you know what? We're building a roadster for now. So we'll get that dialed, schmuck it up, see if we can sand it down. Maybe get a couple coats going. It's already getting, the sun's starting to come down. See how much we make tonight. The worst case, finish off tomorrow. I'd like to kind of, maybe I'll jam. Hopefully, if this only needs one or two coats, I should be able to do it no problem. I mean, here won't need much sanding. Here's pretty ugly. I um, mean, yeah, that's, I didn't do that. That's factory junk. But, uh, get the edge, get a little bit in there, and then we'll maybe put a couple of coats of the, uh, Chrome in a can for $9. I'll let it dry overnight. And uh, tomorrow, I got tailpipes. I won't put tailpipes on this thing. Anyways, it's all masked up. We got the chrome in the cans now officially dark out. So we're gonna go ahead and blast it and uh, see what it looks like. Probably supposed to use primer and all sorts of stuff. But who's got the time? Who's got that kind of time? We'll just kind of freehand it. It'll make it look like it's uh, vintage chrome or something like that. I'm sure people might be concerned about how I was grinding around the windshield and stuff. It's got a giant crack in it. So. But that crack was already there. <laughs> I'm not overly concerned uh, with it. So I was shooting sparks at it and all that. I gotta try and find another one. I'm actually struggling a little bit trying to find a windshield. Kind of used one, but. Why uh, spare any expense now, right? Oh, this chrome lays down nice. <laughs> this is like... You steal a bicycle, you'd paint it with. Alright, well... I guess we'll put a... couple of coats on. Let it flash off, and... Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. So we'll take a look at this. I really hope it looks good. I have my uh, reservations, but... Rustoleum hasn't failed me in the past. Why would it start now? And then we got two sets of tailpipes from Lyles. So one set's going to go on the 57, the, the Black Widow, once we get that going. Or maybe Danny's car, I don't know. I'll put a set on this one. Hopefully it lines up real nice. And uh, yeah, that'll be the video. Should be a good one. Well, it's so the next day. Chrome, the chrome dried. So it's not too bad. I gotta clean the window up and stuff like that. I actually just painted uh, the inside with some uh, just a rattle can. Hopefully, they all dry to the same texture. It's kind of shiny. I don't know. It's definitely not uh, 
factory. On the back side, I actually just scuffed it up with some uh, like a 3M pad because it was just too bright for me. It, lo it just looks too big and thick. I got to figure out a way to make that look better somehow. I can trim a little bit of it up yet if I wanted to, but eh, maybe I'm overthinking. I'm too close to it. Anyways, I got a package from my good friends over at Lyle's Exhaust. I love these guys. So that's actually two sets of tailpipes uh, for Tri-5. One, two, or Danny's car. Super sweet setup. They have, uh, it's a two-piece deal. So obviously one will go over the rear end and they're, you know, angled outwards. So this will be driver's side, I guess. I don't know, whatever it is. Comes out and kicks over the rear end and then down that actually follows the factory frame rail setup, which uh, these things, all the exhausts run right under the frame on the driver's side. So probably this one even has the hanger still on it. Nope, maybe I cut it off. Oh no, it's right here. So we'll go uh, up over and then straight back and then I'll stick out right here, I'm thinking, on both sides. Hopefully the mufflers work out. Um, well, the exhaust pipe, there's, that's where the pipe has to be on the convertible because of the X-frame. That's the only concern. It might be some unique thing, but we'll figure it out. So I'm going to slap those in real quick. I got to get some clamps for them. And, and a hanger. I don't have any of that stuff, so we have to go for a little road trip. But we did get the grocery getter, so we can take that. But, yeah. I'll get this all kind of just hung, set up, in place, and then we'll we'll see where we end up. So, tailpipe. I had to do a little bit of a modification, and I think, well, I'm the issue, like usual. Um, we need to put a little kick down and off to the side, off the pipe straight back. And I'm thinking the reason is, you typically have pipe out, muffler, and the muffler would kick out to the side, and then go up and over, but because we're running straight pipe, straight back, um, I had to put this little 20 degree kick out, so it kind of moves it over just a little, and puts at a bit of an angle, but otherwise, everything goes out good. <clears throat> and like I said, we're right under the frame rail, so I'll just, uh, you know, weld something right back there. I drained the fuel out of the tank because it was actually leaking a little bit when it was angled all the way forward. So I guess the the sender up in there, we'll get in there and tighten it. She's got a little gasket on it. So we'll let the gas evaporate. I'm going to get the other side fit up real quick. I had to just trim this a little bit, this 20 degree piece, and then this uh, the kick up that Lyle sent for the tailpipe. I shortened that as well because obviously that's meant to go kind of right there where the muffler is, which doesn't exist. So we'll get on here. I'll probably weld, 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 maybe not. And I'll just clamp this one. So it's easy to kind of take some stuff apart. Or I might just kind of put a couple of tacks on a few things for the time being. Um, with this X frame, it's going to be a real nightmare to take this exhaust apart ever. So I kind of want to make sure it's all done right. Not going to knock in anything. But <clears throat> this proper tailpipe for the car, that's the ticket. So we got a set of tailpipes on this thing. Um, <laughs> they're kind of hard to measure because the bumper's so beat to hell. So I'll put it on the ground, maybe I'll measure from the ground and make sure they're kind of happy. I'll just kind of crank on it or do whatever I do. Um, the way I did the hangers, so I did this side first. So the hanger up there off the frame, which was okay. But then this side, I forgot there's a spare tire ball right there. So I did it off the back piece. So I think I'll probably do is find another hanger so I have to bend the hell out of this one and then I'll just kind of do the exact same as that and then it's really easy to kind of bend it or do whatever and finish weld it all in they're just kind of tacked in but that's something I can get in there and take care of otherwise up over the diff and these these Lyle's tailpipes are the ticket and you can see right in front of the diff there they kind of do a little wiggle waggle I had to buy some uh, 22 degree angle pieces just because I didn't have any mufflers are up front and they're straight throughs and I mean that's ultimately what was going to happen with that x-frame but it's it's pretty slick I'm digging it I want to back this thing out see what it looks like with that uh, windshield because ultimately it's kind of blah on the back side uh, I had to drain all the fuel out welding around the gas tank always scares me so double check that plug tight we'll dump some fuel in it drop her down and back it out and then short list where we're actually driving this thing. Well, I gotta say it sounds, I mean, it sounds like an old school 
hot rod. I got the idle set a little high there, got stroke on, but uh, it sounds way better running it out the back than just dumping it right in the diff there. It was just, I don't know, droning and set. Well, you guys let me know it sounded like a tractor, so there you go. It sounds a little less tractory, and it's got, it sounds good to rev it now. It sounds like an old school hot rod. I mean, glass packs going right out the back. But this thing really needs some flamethrowers, right? The tailpipe. That would be the ticket. Anyways, I'm going to move some of this junk, or this junk, to back this thing out. I wanted to hose it all down. It just got dust and stuff everywhere. Wipe it all down because we're going to start doing wiring on it. Uh, well, probably starting tomorrow. Let's get this thing out and let's look at the chrome. Of the chrome. See how you look. her out, hose her down, broke the trim off the front because I'm an idiot somehow. I'm gonna deal with that later. But uh, I don't know, I think if you stand back, like it's chrome paint, but I don't think it looks that bad, eh? I think it looks it turned out pretty good. Sounds the ticket I love, well obviously you guys know I love it like 70s stuff, so if someone bought this thing in 57, lost interest in it, then some punk kid like me bought it in uh, 1973. Primer didn't put cherry bombs on it. That's the look I'm going for. I really don't like the inside unfortunately so i scuffed it up i don't know if i should paint it flat black or what it's just too big and bulky so if you guys have some ideas let me know it's within reason i think i can i might try and get a piece of exhaust pipe and you know, bend it and i can tack it on and maybe kind of heat it and stuff but i just i don't know it looks thick and ugly and at the end of the day it probably just needs a proper windshield frame bought for it but that might happen over the winter time otherwise i did the exhaust oh tips or no tips like does it need a set of boom tubes like it was like popular in the 2000s or just that two and a half inch pipes and that's it i piped that one out i i do kind of want to put flamethrowers on it so let me know about that one too that's where like shoots fire out the back the 47 had that it was cool i probably still have the flamethrower box in that car if i go digging through it because that thing was like hot rod like that so that's where we're leaving it windshield done so we got the it's like a real fake convertible now a real fake one so up next finish off the wiring and the steering column I, th I i'm missing so many parts off this thing i think i'm gonna rob off the black widow for the short term i need to rob there's no trunk lock mechanism there's no hood latch mechanism all the brackets that hold the column up i'm gonna rob off that for the time being but really then this thing we can drive it for a month or, or whatever before snow and uh, we just got to keep it around until Murr uh, takes off at the end of October. No, it's sort of his place. But, uh, so keep that around. There's no way this thing will be done in the next, well, I guess I shouldn't say that, maybe another month or so. So I'll steal some parts off of it, and then we'll just uh, give it back when we're done. We could also steal off the wagon, or try and make a list of what I need. Maybe that's what I should be doing now, is make a list of everything I need, and then go out to the junkyard and pay up for a few bits and pieces. But uh, we're getting to the tail end of this thing. Which is shocking for like a six week job. Got a lot done. Anyways, that's where we leaving. We'll see you, well, next couple of days. We're winding up headlights, taillights, turn signals. Put some door handles in it, maybe. Bolt seat down. Cover this disgusting seat. Yeah, I'll put a blanket on. Actually, I was looking for like some like Mexican style blankets on Amazon and they are expensive. Yeah. Really? And they're like a month away. So, COVID, man. I guess it got to the blankets too. So, we'll figure something out. Put a comforter on it. I think this thing should be driving in two or three videos. See you later.